Hello Pisces, welcome to your general love reading. I am Oh nice, two of cups, Pisces, that's awesome. Seven of swords, still it's okay, that's okay. Not a bad, bad card. Nice, eight of wands, look at how beautiful this Eight of Wands card is in this deck. Isn't that gorgeous? Nice. Six of Cups. Soulmate. From the past. Okay. Four of Cups. This is a little bit different in this deck as opposed to other decks, though, so still not a worry. Okay, now we can start worrying. <laughs> Nine of Swords, Pisces, what is going on with you? Still, not a huge issue because that isn't external. That's you. Oh, nice. Ten of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Good news coming in. Queen of Wands. Another good card. Okay. So this is where you're at-ish because time is fluid. This is where you're headed. Whether you like it or not, this is where you're headed. This is the position of overall energy combined with the bottom of the deck. Oh, look at that. Okay, you know what this means, right? The king and queen of the same suit. For me, that represents twin flame. Plus you have the six of cups, which is soulmate. You have the two of cups, which is soulmate. I don't yet see my twin flame card, but not a big deal. This is one of the signs for me that this is a very, very, very special soulmate connection. Could be a twin flame. Okay, just let me take a quick look at your cards and get a feel for any messages coming through. Okay, Pisces. So, when it came time for you to communicate with this person, I don't feel like you're... Um, in a relationship with this person right now. I feel like this is somebody that you either did have a relationship with in the past or wanted to and still want to, but it just hasn't come to fruition. But this is somebody that, it, there are two of cups to you. The relationship with them you feel would be like the two of cups. That's a, a very connected soulmate type relationship and you know there's something special where this person is concerned. Now, I feel like you attempted to communicate with them and it was not as successful as you had wanted it or hoped it to be. So now you're back to the planning stage and you're having to plan a second attempt, okay? This is definitely someone from your past, and that's, you know, how I know that this is not a first go-round for the two of you, okay? Some of you, it may be, maybe it's somebody from a past life, and so in this life, it is the first go-round, okay? Um, so your overall energy is... The Four of Cups combined with the King of Wands. I'm just going to give you something to look at while I talk about it. Now, the Four of Cups in this deck, if you pay attention to the artwork on the card, he's got three empty cups down in front of him. So he has tried three different... <laughs> I don't know how to put this. Um, he's had options, put it that way, okay? So... He has, and, and this could be female as well, okay, but I'm going to read it as I see it. So this guy in the card has had options. He's had other people. He's had other relationships. None of them made him happy. None of them were anything that he wanted to hang on to. But if you notice, he's gazing up at this 
Ace of Cups that's a gift from the universe, right? So he is not like the usual Four of Cups where they're discontented, disappointed in love, looking down at the ground, possibly missing opportunities. You are not going to miss this opportunity. You know what this opportunity is for you. You know how important this is. You know it's a gift. So you're not going to let this one get away. And the King of Wands just reinforces that because the King of Wands is somebody that knows exactly what he wants. He knows how he's going to go after it. He knows he's going to go after it. And he's not going to take no for an answer. So your overall energy here, for me, it feels very go get him. You're not, you're not worried about this, you know, failed plan, this having to rework and give this another shot. You're not worried about that at all. So why are you in your head? Why are you mentally conflicted? I think for me, it feels like you're hanging on to the, I don't want to say failure, um, it really wasn't a failure. The initial communication, it just wasn't successful the way you thought it would be or the way you wanted it to be. And so now you have to go back to the drawing board and come up with a different plan of action. That's not a big deal. And you being in your head about that, I'm going to use this, this word for lack of better words, okay? But you being in your head because of that failure, that's not helping you. Let go of this. Let go of how it turned out because this energy here is so bang on for the way it needs to be for you to achieve what it is you want to achieve. But this, this nine of swords, this being in your head, over analyzing what went wrong, what you need to do next time. Yes, it's it's good to plan your next attack, so to speak. But this is not just planning your next attack. This is all you can think about. All you can think about is how this didn't go the way you wanted it to. And how am I going to turn this around? How am I going to get what I want from this? But what you're unaware of is that if this is a soulmate and everything's pretty much saying it's it's a, a very special, at the very least, Pisces, it's an extremely special connection you've got here with this person, but likely to be your twin. So what you don't understand is if that's the case, then this is not even in your hands. This is being divinely guided. And the Ten of Pentacles in this deck, although it does represent long-term, like all the other decks, this is long-term, committed relationship, happy family life, home life. But if you notice the artwork in this, it's like a tunnel to get to the Ten of Pentacles. So it's, it's seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. You're close. This is almost like the Nine of Wands card where, you know, you're exhausted. You don't think you can make it. You don't think you can go any further. But the advice to the card is, you know, you're this close. So push through this one last time. This isn't the advice here. You are definitely going to keep moving forward. That's obvious. But this is about seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. It says the same thing. You're this close. This is going to happen. Rework your plans. Attack again, so to speak. And you've got the light at the end of the tunnel here. Good news. Page of Wands is all about, they are messengers, and the Page of Wands is all about good news coming in, right? And the Queen of Wands, now this could be your person, either one of these, the King or the Queen of Wands, that would be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Um, but if it's an energy, she's very 
um, she's got self-esteem. She's got self-confidence. She's uh, she believes in herself. She knows that she can have anything she wants, and she can have it any way she wants it. She's a very um, self-assured, but she also isn't too concerned with. She's not attached to the outcome. If it works, great. If it doesn't, oh, next. But, you know, that's, for the most part, that is not the message here. The message is just be your true, authentic self. Have that, that self-confidence that you need. It is where you're headed. It's where you need to head. This is a position of where you're headed or where you need to be headed or where you want to head. It's it's a directional position, okay? And it always depends on overall energy and what's taking place between where you're at and where you need or want to be. So in this particular reading, this is a place that you need to get to, okay? It's not where you're headed, it's where you need to head. You need to have this, this energy in order to make this be what you want it to be, okay? Now I do want to clarify some cards here. Trying to shuffle quietly. I had somebody rip my head off <laughs> in the comments. He told me how disgusting it was that my shuffling was loud, that I should mute the sound when I shuffle, but you know, Unfortunately, I have no way of muting my mic. I'm sorry. So hopefully you don't have little earbuds in and this isn't killing your ears. I'm doing my best. I have a new camera and I, because I had complaints about the sound in the old camera. So now I have a new camera and the sound is so damn good that now I've got complaints that it's too good. Oh well. Can't win them all. Okay, so... Um, Let's go to the Seven of Swords. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords for you guys. Why is the Seven of Swords here, angels? Please and thank you. Whoop. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt my shuffling. I just realized I didn't do this again. This deck is the Tarot of Dreams deck, okay? This is Essential Tarot. Okay. Now, why is the Seven of Swords here, angels? forward. Sometimes this takes a bit. Too many cards. I, I don't take any more than three because I don't want to take a lump of cards for you guys and assume they're cards for you. That's And my guides know that I don't take. Wow. Isn't that funny <laughs> that we've clarified the seven of war swords? Oh, jeez, we've clarified the seven of swords with the seven of swords. You know, I know this has been happening a lot lately. The last few readings I did in clarifying, my angels have given me the same card as a clarifier to that particular card. This is a push, okay? The fact that you have it twice in this reading tells me that it's, and this is what I'm hearing, is it's a push. They're pushing you 
to commit to the next round of plans, okay? They, they, you need to keep moving forward on this. Don't allow the disappointment of it not working the first time keep you stuck in your head. Like I said, let go of this way of thinking. Did this work out the way you wanted it to? No. Does everything in your life work out the way you want it to? No, of course not, Pisces. It's just that this was so important to you that it was a huge disappointment for you. Don't let it be. Don't let it be. You have this Ace of Cups still sitting out here waiting for you. Grab it. They want you to grab it, okay? The Two of Wands. This is no surprise to me that this shows up here too because the Two of Wands is all about planning and strategy. So get back to the drawing board is the message here. Get back to the drawing board, start planning again and strategizing your next move, okay? This is important. This is important or you wouldn't have the Seven of Swords a second time as a clarifier for the Seven of Swords. It tells me when they clarify a card with the same card, that's my sign that it's really important. That is one of the most important messages in your, in your reading today, okay? Um, wow, the rest of your reading is so amazing that I want, I'm going to clarify the Nine of Swords. I want to know why you're in your head for sure. I'm pretty sure it's because this failed, this attempt failed. But, and I do think it's because you just are so crazy for this person. Now, switch this around, Pisces, if you need to, okay? Because this could be you and your person attempted to communicate, but they screwed it up royally and you kept your boundaries and you let them know that you know if you're not gonna play right with me then get back in the corner so to speak right and I'm not making fun of you by that that's how it should be you need your boundaries you need to teach people how to treat you and the better time to do it or the best time to do it is right in the very beginning okay but if that's the case then now you're in your head because you're afraid that you've scared them off and they're never coming back around. Well, they are coming back around. Light at the end of the tunnel for you too, right? They are coming back around. So I'm going to continue to read this as if, Pisces, it's you that attempted this communication, okay? But switch it around if you need to. Why is the Nine of Swords here, angels? Thank you. Oh, see, this is why, because this person does mean a lot to you. They are the sun in your world. They are all that means happiness to you. You know you'll be happy with them. You don't want to let them go. You hold them in such high regard. You respect them. You look up to them. They are your be all and all. Wow. The Nine of Pentacles, one of the, um, definitions of this card is wish fulfillment, and that's what it is here, too. You want, you, this is your dream girl or guy. You want this person bad enough that you're driving yourself crazy by analyzing every little thing you need to stop this this is you know this is divinely guided you know that right because the universe is handing you an ace of cups here they're gifting you with another go round so plan this out get your strategy going and take that next that next shot because you're almost there. So done clarifying. <laughs> Bottom of the clarifying deck. Look at that. Wish card. 
wish fulfillment, hope, healing. You don't have to worry. It, this now becomes part of your overall energy as well with the other two cards, with the Four of Cups, King of Wands, and now the Star card. Okay, so this is your overall energy. Can you see this? Yes, okay. This is your overall energy. This is where you're at. This is where you want to be. So what I want to do is ask my guides and yours what it is that you need to be, do, feel, or think in order to change your point of attraction or energy to have the outcome with this special person that you want. Okay, angels, what does Pisces need to be, do, feel, or think in order to turn this around and have the outcome with this person of theirs? Can I get another card, please? Thank you. Okay, so your advice on how to get your energy turned around to have the outcome you want. You have the Four of Swords. This is all about, see how, usually this is how it is in the cards. There's three swords set somewhere in the card, and then one sword is either laid on, or like in this card, this person is holding on to the ace on her body. She is um, clinging to the truth, the enlightenment, the clarity, because that's what the Ace of Swords is. It's all about clarity and truth. But this card also is about if you look behind her, like I said, there's the Three of Swords. Is it behind her? Now, I've had people in the comments say, you know, that was a Four of Swords, and she said it was a Three of Swords. I'm not saying this card is the Three of Swords. I'm saying that I'm seeing it as an Ace of Swords and a Three of Swords and a Four of Swords because that's how it's depicted in the picture, in my mind, okay? And I'm doing the reading. So this is all about you having a broken heart and not because there's three party situation, although it could be, but that's not the majority of you. That's not what I'm getting. What I'm getting from this is that you're broken hearted because you're separated from the person that you want to be with. And you want clarity. You're looking for answers. Okay. Part of your answer is that this is a four of swords. Take a step back. Take another look at the situation. See it from a different perspective, okay? Maybe see it from the perspective of your person. Maybe that's what you need to do. But at the very least, you need to take a break. Take a break. Get yourself out of... Out of this mode get out of your head okay this can represent healing meditation because it's all about resting and taking a time out come on camera I don't know why it doesn't want to okay there we go um, just taking a break Recouping, recovering, recharging your batteries before you go at things again because you have the devil card next. And this, I'm going to let you see the picture up close. These cards are so cool. This is Shadowscapes, by the way. Now, if you notice, see this person right down here? If it will get clear enough for you. That looks to me like that person is chained to that lock with a string. 
there's really not much holding them there. So it's about them keeping themselves chained and trapped. This is the devil is you, right? This is you. This is you. <laughs> this is the devil, okay? It's, it's obsession. It's addiction. It's um, driving yourself crazy, trapping yourself. You need to not do that, okay? Get to this place, this place of it's really comfortable there. Look at the difference between these two cards. Where would you rather be? <laughs> I'm not, you know, you don't need to answer that because I'm not going to hear you anyway, but obviously you'd rather be here. So just rest in the knowledge that you will be able to see the light at the end of this tunnel. There is hope. And wish fulfillment. You had did you not have two wish fulfillment cards? They must have been um, they must have been in the clarifying then. No, because that's from this deck. I thought you had another one that was wish fulfillment. I was sure you did. Okay, maybe you didn't. Huh. I don't know why I was thinking that, but okay. So anyway, you do have the wish fulfillment card. So have faith, have hope, and know. Okay, now I know why. I'll show you in a second. Because this brand new beginning is coming and it's going to shower you with abundance not just love and happiness finances this is big money coming in when you and your twin finally come together you are never gonna look back this is abundance on every level every level and it's a gift it's an ace it's a gift this is why I thought you had two wish fulfillment cards because I had seen this come out. So the star card again, and I'll let you see the artwork on this card. It's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? And if you notice, I, I could be wrong, but I think all of these waves go up and does that not look like an arm of a, a woman or a man and this is a turned head like this would be the underside of the chin and then kind of coming up into the cheek sort of it's beautiful it's hope it's wish fulfillment it's healing it's everything you want. It's coming. Meditate so that you can heal. Get yourself out of your head and take a step back and try to see things from a little bit of a different angle. Okay? And get out of your head. You're trapping yourself. You're blocking yourself from what it is you want. Because when you can get out of your head and turn around your energy, you are going to have abundance showering you, literally showering you with wish fulfillment on every level, every level. You've got it twice. Like I said, when the two cards come out like this in a spread, my guides want me to know that the push is on. Push. Push yourself to get that plan in, in motion and strategize and, and move forward. Know 
that you're going to have this. Um, I'm going to go to this deck now. I'm going to get a couple of oracle cards for up here in a little bit of guidance on how to get from here to here, from the ace or the two of cups to the queen of wands, so that you can have this wish fulfillment that is basically yours anyway. Now this deck here is the energy oracle deck. Okay, angels. What kind of guidance can we give Pisces in this journey of theirs? Please and thank you. Okay, there's one. I'd like two more cards, please. Or at least one, and then we'll get one from the Sacred Traveler deck. Let's get one from the Sacred Traveler deck, too. And then we just have variety. Okay, what else can we give Pisces here, angels? Please and thank you. Wow, that was quick. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> wow. This is this card. Pisces. It's like the Four of Swords, okay? It's rest and rejuvenation. Charge your batteries back up before you move forward. But take the time to rejuvenate. Then strategize and plan your next move. Okay. And then you have a woman holding a heart. I am not totally sure about the meaning of this card. I'm going to read it from the book for you. And the final card you have is traveling lightly. Simplify your life. This is all about letting go of the things that no, and people that no longer serve a purpose in your life. And I'm not talking about this person of yours, okay? I'm, I'm just, this is, it could be friends, it could be family members. As you're raising your vibration, you need to lighten the load. Keep things around you, only things and people around you that you absolutely love and that you know love you. Don't keep someone in your life that makes you miserable or brings you down, okay? Because that's not going to help you. So I want to take a look at this card for you. Okay, straighten that up for you. There you go. Now let me read that. Notice the number on it is 44. That's all about stability, right? And that's what the abundance is going to bring for you when you come together. Huge stability. Okay, so this is female dealing with family, love, or emotions. The woman on this card wears a butterfly in her hair and holds a lovely large heart in her hands. For a woman, this card upright could be a reflection of your own state of peaceful emotion and receptivity for love. Or it might be a message that your family issues are going to resolve. You're an intuitive woman who understands the emotions of life and you're bringing that awareness to all that you do. This card upright can also indicate the presence of a female friend, teacher, or confidant who's here to help with issues of love, family, or emotion. This is an even-tempered and caring person who resonates with you and your emotions. This could also portend a new love interest or friend coming your way. So it's going to be different for all of you, but what it could mean and what it could be saying is that someone is helping you in this situation. And you know what? 
it could be behind the scenes. It could be your guides, the angels helping this situation along. This was an amazing read, Pisces. It really was. The messages that came through for you were absolutely beautiful. You have nothing to worry about. You really have nothing to worry about. This is all going to work out if you can control your thoughts and your emotions. Okay? Because keep in mind, your thoughts and your emotions are vibrations. And so whatever you're thinking and feeling is a vibration that's going out to the universe. The universe is going to bring back more situations that make you feel that way. Whatever way you're feeling. And I know what way you're feeling <laughs> because wherever that card went to, the universe is going to bring you more situations that make you go in your head that make you fearful and conflicted, okay? So you've got to get out of your head. You have to, meditation is huge for that because what happens when you meditate, even 15 minutes a day, at some point in the meditation, you stop all thought. It might not be for the whole 15 minutes. In fact, it's probably not going to be if this is you starting meditation for the first time you will start to think and you'll have to pull yourself back to not thinking and then you'll start to think and it'll just go back and forth until your mind gets used to it and then it won't be so much control, okay? But what happens in meditation is at some point for a few seconds, you stop all resistant thought. And when you stop resistance, you're open to receiving the good that's coming your way. Like this relationship. And it, it allows your vibration to rise back up to the top. Okay? And then, of course, you go back to the old way of thinking. You pinch it off and you resist again. And when you resist, you're pushing against. And when you push against, it does not come in. You have to attract it. You can't chase it. You have to attract it. So visualize exactly what it is that you want with this person. Visualize the relationship that you want with this person. When you close your eyes at night or when you wake up first thing in the morning, before you even open your eyes in the morning and when you close your eyes to go to sleep at night, visualize. And you know, a good way of doing that is when you go to bed, close your eyes and visualize them coming into the room to join you because you live together maybe, or you're married and you're together and they come into the room and they get ready for bed and they climb in and you snuggle and you go to sleep or whatever but I'm not going there and then in the morning before you open your eyes visualize yourself getting out of bed getting your house coat on or whatever you do heading down the hallway getting into the kitchen and there's your person sitting there waiting for you to get up because they've made coffee and maybe they've got a Danish waiting for you in the newspaper and, and they're going to have coffee with you. If you can visualize it and feel it, feel what that would feel like to be, the universe has no choice but to bring it to you because you now put it out there in vibratory form and it's just waiting to come back to you. Okay, Pisces, enough lecturing. I think you get the point. You have wish fulfillment coming. Get out of your head. I love you guys. Thanks for supporting me. I'll see you next time.